We're a long way from Rio and more than two weeks from Team USA's Olympic debut, but the road to gold begins tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada. The U.S. men's team against Argentina as they launch their exhibition season, the first of five exhibition games. We're inside T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Great to have you with us here on NBA TV. That's Facundo Campazzo. He has some history with the United States. We'll touch on throughout the game. Turnover right away, and this is what the U.S. is likely to do very well. Turn it over and give it to Kevin Durant. Mello will try the United States fifth three of the game so far, and the Americans finally hit one. You look at Kyrie as a point guard, and then you maybe have a Draymond Green, and then I would say even next is probably DeMarcus Cousins with ability to just to find guys and get them open shots. And to move bodies around in the paint, which he just did to collect that offensive board and throw it down 7-3 <laughs> the United States. Thompson misses it, and DeAndre Jordan is there to clean it up. Durant past Scola, leaves it for Jordan. It's even awkward stuff, but throws it down nonetheless. Coach K says the style of play helps this team alleviate that pressure to win gold or bust. Fast paced, everybody getting involved, a lot of defense. And Smitty, the U.S. military, as you know, has played a huge part in having this team understand their selfless service motto. Coach K says not as much pressure when it's great to serve, and they have certainly embraced that. Argentina, defensively and also offensively, they're moving around. And yes, they're still down by 10, but a good job by them. Paul George with the floater. What a great story it is that Paul George is back, well documented. That horrific knee injury two years ago. I think he has a chance, the way he's playing right now, to be an MVP candidate for the Pacers in this league. And there's Cousins again on the offensive glass. What a special talent that DeMarcus Cousins is. Draymond Green with an offensive board. He gets it back again. The U.S. will get another try. It's George for three. Fantastic job by Draymond, even though the shot was blocked. Being able to carve out space and get offensive rebound, and then in traffic, being able to throw it up and out to Paul George for an easy one. And there's Paul George again. And Paul George finishes off the quarter nicely for the U.S. And there's another turnover and run out by Paul George. Paul George. Thompson has Brusino in front of him, or did for a moment. Out to Durant at the three-point line, puts it on the floor, back out to Thompson. Fakes the three again, over to Irving. Oh, Three on the shot beautiful. clock, great ball movement off the front rim and kept alive by DeRozan. Durant will try another three and gets it. More second chance points for the United States and a three falls for Kevin Durant. DeRozan out to Irving now, guarded by Campazzo. Here's DeRozan. She was off the uh, Euro step and high off the glass. Man, what I love about DeRozan, he's not a particularly a high percentage, high volume three-point shooter, but use the pump fake from that area to still be able to get in and make plays. Solo from the corner wow. that's blocked by Durant. You see the length. The closeout by Durant was special. Durant starting to feel it here a little bit. But that group all basically grew up together. Yes. You could just see it on the floor, how much time they had spent together. Both guys regarded at the top of their craft in both divisions, college and NBA. Ooh. Round and round it went, but eventually cleaned up by DeAndre Jordan. Look at Cousins. Butler from the baseline and good. It's mellow. Jordan couldn't get that one, but Butler does. Another second opportunity for the U.S. Make it a third, and Mello converts. You got to keep body on body, but it's hard because the United States have so many guys that can beat you one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, Colangelo talked about it. <laughs> He's the first call he had for a guy saying, do you want to play again? And he said yes. USA doing a nice job of just slowing down. They have the ability to be able to press all over the court, especially with DeAndre Jordan. That, that, that part was handled by Argentina, but they couldn't get it past the trap. And Paul George has another breakaway bucket. Irving back to Jordan, gets it back. La Provitola had to go around the Jordan screen, no chance. And Irving cashes in by knocking down the U.S.'s sixth three of the night. Mano Ginobili threw his legs, and I wonder if we could get a shot of Coach Popovich who was sitting next to Jerry Colangelo. They used to drive Pop crazy. Well, that is a, that's an element of Manu's game that won't be part of his Hall of Fame induction <laughs> speech, is that he can drive coaches crazy occasionally for a long time now with some ill-advised passes, we'll put it that way. Carmelo Anthony knocks down the three-pointer, 7-3, and there's 
maybe a little momentum from the three-point line for the U.S. Anthony with another three. Carmelo Anthony, two Olympic golds already and a bronze. Didn't play much for that 0-4 team that lost to Argentina. He and LeBron James were both rookies on that team. Harrison Barnes now on the board for the U.S. Knocks out his first shot of the night. And Ginobili's knocked down three of the six threes he has tried. Irving with an answer with a two on the other end. What's it been like for your world, would I imagine, the last few months? It has. It's, it's, been, it's been crazy. I, what has been the goal this week with those group of young guys who are trying to get on this national team? What are your aspirations with Team USA here? Could you see your goal growing every summer? You know, I, I've, I've worked with Team USA a, a lot. I've, I've coached uh, Pan Am games. Durant to DeRozan who went for a 360 finish. <laughs> Lost it on the way up. U.S. by 28. They have led by as many as 30 tonight. Argentina played him even in the third quarter. Draymond Green establishes a new biggest lead of the night. Kevin Durant stunned a lot of folks. He just stunned Carino as well, <laughs> defensively. <laughs> Wow, that's deep. Deep Great three for Dre, and nothing but air. Although, to be fair, it's a shorter international line. They all look deep. Yeah, they look deep. Durant knocks it down. Durant tees up another three. 18 now to tie Paul George to the team lead. KD heating up here in the fourth quarter. It's going to be a great scene up there when Kevin Durant makes his first appearance as a warrior in the building doing things like that. Durant now with 23. The Americans remember Composo, certainly the uh, the couple of Americans who played in 2012. He was part of an incident with Carmelo Anthony who on cue knocks down the three. It was Composo who hit Melo in the groin as he attempted mm -hmm. the three-point shot right in front of the U.S. bench. He lost his shoe again. Anthony. Melo's got the feeling. Another three for Carmelo Anthony, and the U.S. has really picked up the pace from outside the line. Now 14 to 39, nearly 36 Nice. And in for Harrison Barnes. HB with his second bucket of the night. He's got four. Cuz working out of the post. And an easy two for DeMarcus Cousins. 14 points, 15 boards. A tidy double-double for DeMarcus Cousins here tonight. Kevin Durant heated up here in the second half, particularly the fourth quarter. He went for 23 tonight to lead the United States. 18 from Paul George in his... U.S. Senior Men's National Team comeback tonight. Mello had 17, and the U.S. wins it by 37 here tonight, 111 to 74. Initial impressions of this USA Team Smitty. Uh, I think for teams going up against this defense with these wing defenders, it's going to be tough. And then how do you box out DeAndre Jordan and DeMarcus Cousins? And we're not even going to talk about the three-point shot because they really didn't get hot in the three-point line. But when they do, it's going to be spectacular for them. I, it just comes down to their versatility on the wing defenders to be able to switch and create havoc. That's, that's I think, is going to set them apart.